Hey everyone, it's Maricel and today let's dive into the world of online romance and uncover the telltale signs of a scammer. While using online dating sites and social media to find love can be exciting, it's essential to be vigilant, especially when money becomes part of the equation. The internet has opened up a world of possibilities, including finding love online. However, it has also given rise to romance scammers who prey on unsuspecting individuals. These fraudsters create fake profiles, establish fake connections, and ultimately aim to extort money from their victims. They may also use fake dating accounts to gather personal information or distribute malware or even blackmail victims with intimate images or videos. Indeed, online dating offers convenience, but it's not without its risks. Every year, countless people fall victim to online dating scams, leaving them heartbroken and financially drained. In this video, We'll identify common online dating scams and provide tips on how to spot and avoid them. Red flags for Filipina women. Roman scams can happen to anyone regardless of gender. Many Filipina women have been deceived by foreign scammers seeking to exploit their financial resources. Here are some warning signs to watch out for. Number one, the AFAM, a foreigner, usually a Westerner, promises to meet you in person but continually cancels plan. By the way, a FAM is a Philippine urban slang that means foreigner, usually a Westerner, from an acronym, a foreigner assigned to Manila. If someone consistently cancels plan to meet in person, it could be a sign of a scam. Report suspicious profiles to the dating site or app creator. Number two, your love interest sends you model-like photos rather than casual selfies. This is now very simple to uncover and expose. Check out the image using Google search by image tool. If the identical image appears elsewhere with a different name, then that's a crystal clear sign that he is a fraudster. Furthermore, is a prudent Filipina? Never provide an online contact or an intimate photo that might later be exploited for blackmail. Number three, he overwhelms you with attention. To entice potential victims, swindlers frequently bombard them with messages, emails, and phone calls. To handle this red flag, you should proceed slowly. Ask your prospective AFAM partner a lot of questions and keep an eye out for discrepancies that might indicate an imposter. If you believe the person is a con artist, cut off contact immediately. Not divulging too much information on a dating profile or with someone you've just interacted online is critical. Scammers might use facts like your last name or, na or place of employment to deceive you or steal your identity. Number four, he wants to leave the dating site as soon as possible and communicate with you via email or instant chat instant chat like Facebook Messenger or WhatsApp. That is why you should be a skeptical of flirty or too flattering emails. Enter the phrase into a search engine to see the identical terms appear on website that expose romance frauds. Don't transfer cash to someone you've just talked to online or put money on a redeemable gift card for the guy you won't get it back now let's talk about the common signs of a romance scammer for foreign guys or a fams as previously stated the wheel does not rotate in a single direction anything can happen and vice versa as prevalent as it is for filipinas to be scammed online the more prevalent it is for foreign males or a fams Filipina often face a stereotype as an online scammer due to various factors. Poverty in the Philippines makes it a target for scammers seeking vulnerable victims. Additionally, the widespread use of English facilitates communication for scammers. Media reports on online dating scams involving Filipinas have contributed to this deception. 
though it's important to note that only a small number of Filipinas are involved in these such scams. The Philippines' popularity among foreign men seeking partners makes it ripe for scammers who create fake profiles to deceive unsuspecting victims. Romance fraudsters are social manipulations masters who can seem incredibly convincing. The Roman scammer will attempt to gain your confidence before exploiting you. Now, without prejudice, here are some things to keep an eye out if you are an AFAM. Number one, she may assert a need for funds under the guise of emergencies, medical expenses, or vacations. It's a classic tactic of catfish or scammers whose ultimate aim is financial gain. They craft various scenarios from family crisis to health woes or travel dilemmas, all designed to extract money from unsuspecting victims. Regardless of the apparent severity of their situation, exercise caution with anyone soliciting money from you. If you encounter such requests from a new online love interest, it's highly likely they are attempting to deceive you. Common pleas may include, I require startup capital for a business venture, or I'm in need for financial assistance to arrange a funeral for a loved one, or funds are needed to care for an ailing relative. Number two, her profile looks fake because it probably is. Scammers do tend to have these things in common. One, not many photos and the ones they have might look like a professional model shots. They say they're looking for someone local but aim to live or work far away. Or they may exaggerate how poor or disadvantaged they are. Number three, she will declare her love for you without ever meeting you. If someone says they love you before meeting, it's a big red flag. Scammers often rush into intense feeling to trick you into sharing personal details. Protect yourself by keeping personal info safe. Be cautious if they ask for sensitive information soon after getting in touch. Number four, she will try to entice you away from the dating site. Scammers frequently persuade victims to leave the dating site and communicate via personal email or instant chat. They may not appear to be a red flag at first because when you're trying to get to know someone, you'll naturally want to extend your conversation outside the dating site. Be extremely wary when she asks for your personal information or email address. Set up another email account or use instant messaging app that isn't linked to personal information if you wish to speak outside the dating site. It's tough to acknowledge, but some Filipinas do exploit AFAMs for money, which can be embarrassing. However, it's unfair to label these AFAMs as foolish. They are just unfortunate victims. When it comes to love scams, it's crucial to stay vigilant. Many men from UK or United States travel to the Philippines seeking love, drawn by the reputation of Filipino women as the sweetest in the world. But there's a catch. Scammers prowl online dating sites. Even legitimate dating services and apps have a disproportionate number of protesters. So before you swipe right, be sure you understand what you are getting into. If you are seeking a serious long-term relationship, I highly recommend exploring Christian Filipina dating site or app. You can find your ideal match by clicking the link provided below in the description and in the comment section. And don't miss out on this opportunity to connect with like-minded individuals and potentially find your soulmate today. Whether you are a Filipina or a foreign man, it's essential to protect yourself from online dating scams. Here are some common schemes to watch for. Number one, the extortion scheme. Scammers may try to blackmail you with intimate photos or videos. 
Number two, the cam girl swindle. Some scammers may offer sexual acts for a fee. Number three, the emergency cash con. Scammers may fabricate emergencies to ask for money. And lastly, the green card swindle. Be wary of promises of a better life abroad in exchange for financial support. When it comes to online dating, staying cautious and trusting your instinct is key. Be vigilant for any red flags while interacting online. Protect your privacy at all costs. If something fails off, it's better safe than sorry. Thanks for tuning in and best of luck in your dating and divorce.